hello hello my loves and welcome to my channel um, so as you can see today's video is um, I don't know if I want to call it a nail tutorial because I don't think I'm good enough to teach anyone yet uh, but I am showing you all how I apply my poly gel when I do my nails so I'm just showing you everything that I have in that little dampened dish is alcohol as well as in that container but everything else that I'm showing you is by McCart the dehydrator the primer the base coat top coat everything is McCart um, so yeah just to speak to you all a little bit while you're looking at that um, I'm not gonna be speaking the whole video um, but I just wanted to do a voiceover this is my first time doing my nails recording um, so please excuse the angle it's trial and error pretty much um, so yeah I will get better as I continue to practice and do this um, but anyway, so what I am doing right now, I've already, as you can see, applied my tips. Um, the tips are very smooth. I did cut them and shape them already. Um, so I'm just using the e-file to rough the tips up so that I can um, apply the base coat um, to start the process. So you want to rough your nail bed and if you're using tips, the tips up. So that everything would adhere to it um, it makes for a I would say a longer wear of your nails um, so I am NOT a professional at all I miss the spot look like <laughs> I'm not a professional at all so just you know work with me so I'm putting the dehydrator on just my nail bed not the tips and then next is going to be that primer um, I'm going to put the primer on, on my nail bed as well. Um, so yeah, it, it, it was fun. I actually like doing my own nails. Um, next is going to be the base coat. And the base coat is necessary before applying your poly gel. Um, there's my lamp. The lamp is not by McCart. Um, I got it in another um, kit. So I'm applying the gel on my nail bed and also the tip um, you don't have to so I I experimented um, I did tell you all in a previous video that I went on vacation so I did like a, just a fun set um, and what I did was I did the set over my acrylic nails that I had um, and I did not use base a base coat because I didn't want the um, I didn't I couldn't deal with that color for a long period of time so I just applied the poly gel on top of that and I was able to like literally pop the poly gel off no problem um, but yeah if you want your poly gel to last definitely don't miss the step of the base coat the base gel coat um, so I will start applying my nails after this part So I'm just showing you the brush that I'm using, which is by McCart. So now I am basically um, just applying the poly gel. I applied it to the spatula part by dipping the spatula part into the alcohol first before putting the poly gel on there. Then you saw me dip the brush part into the alcohol pat it on the paper towel and now I'm just smoothing it out so what I like to do is um, smooth it out down to my cuticle area first then I do like a pat but slightly push method to move it to the free edge of the nail and um, it's pretty much self-explanatory um, I am out of frame <laughs> so I do apologize but Basically, I'm just patting, 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 getting it as smooth as possible so that when I use my e-file to um, basically smooth everything out, I won't have to do so much work. So I always, after curing it in the lamp for 60 seconds, um, I always pat or wipe it off with um, alcohol to get that tacky layer off. So 
I'm just gonna do it for a few more nails just so you can see what I'm doing but like I said it's pretty much very very self-explanatory so you can just watch <laughs> So for my middle finger, um, when I apply the poly gel or place the poly gel bead or whatever you want to call it to the nail, um, I didn't quite smooth it out. Um, mistakes will happen. I'm sure professionals make mistakes, but they fix them and of course I'm not a professional. So um, what you're seeing me do, I smoothed out. I um, basically picked it up and move it backwards so I am out of frame but um, yeah I'm just it takes patience you can see that big clump there it's kind of wonky looking but with a little patience and a little extra care I smooth it right on out um, like I said when you are doing this it's, it's very easy um i think that anyone honestly if you wanted to could as long as you have a steady hand and girl i am so out of frame <laughs> so my apologies um so i'm just really fixing it and i had to bring it kind of closer to me so that i could make sure that i blended it you know i got it blended and spread out evenly um so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. So it's pretty self-explanatory and I believe I'm gonna show you all. Um, I may just stop it here, I think. Um, and just do the other nails. And then, yeah, I'll pretty much just come back with the next step. So, hope you all are enjoying. Um, the next application, I'm pretty much critiquing myself while doing this voiceover. So I, until I get, I am in the process of um, getting a camera. I didn't feel like it was necessary, but since I decided that I wanted to show doing my nails, I think um, different equipment would probably be better. So I am working on getting a camera. But yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty much self-explanatory I hope um, if there's any nail techs um, they that may tend to click on this or anyone who is kind of a pro at doing your own nails definitely give me some feedback so now I'm gonna use my e-file to just um, smooth out any rough edges um, blend everything nicely so as they grow out I like to really work on my cuticle area and I'm just basically shaping um, pretty much making the shape around my cuticle much better smoothing everything out so that when it grows out I won't have such a sharp edge down there where it gets caught on any and everything I don't know if you all even if you've been to a nail tech or you have done it yourself sometimes if the cuticle area is not um, filed properly um, it can when it grows out I've had experience where the hair gets caught in there like it just it's just not good so um, even though it's sped up I promise you I am taking my time and as you can see I work on the cuticle first 
and then um, I actually go back to the cuticle a few times but so over the base of the nail what I'm doing is just making sure that everything is even there's not like lopsidedness if that's a word <laughs> um yeah so and then I go under the nail because when I take the excess poly gel off sometimes it leaves like a little it gets under the nail the free edge so this is pretty much self-explanatory in itself I think I'm just gonna show you all a few and then I think I'm gonna stop it so yeah All right, so now I am just using my buff buffer to buff out all of the scratches that um, came from the e-file. One step that I did not show was me um, cleaning up the shape of my nail after applying the poly gel with a hand file. So maybe I'll do that next time. Um, but yeah, here goes the best part. Putting that top coat on there girl so you can really see how pretty that color is I really love the color um, I was so happy with this set again I'm not perfect but I am learning so hopefully you can come along with me on the journey if you are a pro at doing your own nails or if you're a nail tech and you stumbled across this video give your girl some advice I am not one to hate criticism constructive criticism and I am not one who will not take advice. So yeah, as long as it's nice and friendly, I would love to have it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, next step is just me curing it in the lamp for 60 seconds and then applying the cuticle oil. So again, if you're new to this channel um, and you like what you see and you're interested in doing your own nails, if you are just starting, um, definitely stay tuned, subscribe, and come back. Please like this video if you liked it. And yes, I hope you all have a blessed morning, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching this video. Bye, love.